Hi, it's Friday morning. I'm going to meet a colleague for breakfast this morning. And I was driving down the motorway and I was thinking to myself, gosh, news is bad. Lots of bad news. It almost feels like the country's going to hell in a handbasket. And I thought, well, actually, is news bad news? News is change. What we call news is the reportage of change. But what's change? But surely change is people trying to make things be how they want them to be. And so the world is full of people trying to make things be how they want them to be. That creates change, and that's what's reported as news. But is that even correct? Are people trying to make things be how they want them to be? Or are people trying to solve problems? And people are, so people are trying to solve problems, and what we call news is their attempts to solve the problems or the unintended consequences of their attempts to solve problems. So I was reading today that council tax bills on average in UK are now £2,000. Now, that's a problem for some people because if your council tax bill was previously lower, then, you know, it's higher. But it's not bad news. It's simply the reportage of change because, because the council are not intending to damage or, or, or make people uh, have a bad experience. They're simply trying to solve a problem of providing services they don't have enough money. <clears throat> Way back when, when the, uh, the, the, there was the British Raj in India, I believe, uh, so I'm telling you this story, right? Uh, it's, a, it's maybe apocryphal, I don't know, but um, there was a problem in Calcutta of uh, snakes, too many snakes, cobras. And so the local government came up with this idea, I know what, let's put a bounty on snakes. So they offered a reward for every dead snake that was brought to the government house. So the local people, you know, they quickly realized that if they bred snakes and killed them, they could make money by just taking those dead snakes at no effort whatsoever. When the local government found out that they had been breeding snakes and killing them to get the bounty, they stopped the scheme. But now everybody's been breeding snakes, so there's an awful lot of snakes that people have, so they let the snakes go. So now the unintended consequence of what seemed like a good idea at the time is that there are more snakes in Calcutta than they were before the whole thing started. So I think that a lot of times people are trying to solve problems and it has unintended consequences. Now, that's the external world, external reality. In internal reality, I think something similar happens. So let me ask you this question. Well, let me just sort of say, why do anxiety and depression and other mental health problems exist? The vast majority of these problems, why do they exist? If people are trying their best to you know, solve problems uh, and to try to have uh, you know, a good experience, if you like. So here's my view. Anxiety and depression are unintended consequences of attempts to solve problems. So let me ask you this. Let me task you with this. What thing do you do that you could say, yeah, that's a problem? Okay. So let's say, uh, I don't know, um, uh, I can't... I can't walk through a crowd. Okay, that's a problem. Okay. What attempted solution creates the unintended consequence of that problem? So what problem are you trying to solve and the unintended consequence is that you can't walk through crowds? Um, I can't talk in public. Okay. So that's the problem that we identify. What solution were you trying to solve and that's the unintended consequence? Last one, I can't go into supermarkets. Okay, that's the problem that you can identify. But what, what's the problem you're trying to solve? And that's the unintended consequence. So post, comment, etc., etc. Um, I know this sounds like a simple thing, but it's incredibly profound if you can kind of grasp it. I, I hope I've explained it adequately, but I just thought about it as I was driving down the motorway. So. Maybe my thoughts are not quite as clear as they might be. Nevertheless, what unintended consequence are you suffering from? And what was the problem that you're originally trying to solve that created this unintended consequence? Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen.